Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on purchase order. So I have uh, received a lot of emails regarding purchase order creation part, how the PR is created, how the purchase order is created, what are the multiple ways we can create a purchase order. So these are the requirement uh, which I have received in my email. So I thought of uh, explain today about the purchase order part. So we will discuss uh, about the configuration part later, but today I just I'll show you how can we create the purchase order. So purchase order can be created manually also, and it can be created with reference to multiple document as well. Okay. Now, before starting, let's talk about the purchase order first. So what is purchase order? Purchase order is an external purchasing document. And purchase order is a legal document in SAP. Okay, so when we are creating a purchase order in a SAP system, that means that is a legal document. And once purchase order is created and approved and it has been sent to the supplier, now suppliers should deliver you the material based on the order which you have created in SAP system. Okay, now, so before creating a purchase order, you should know how to create the purchase requisition. So which we have already discussed before. So you can go through the purchase requisition creation a uh, video which we have discussed in our previous sessions okay so today i will show you how can we create the purchase order so purchase order can be created manually also and it can be created automatically also so i will show you both the way how can we create manually and how can we create with reference to any other document okay now let's get started so we know there is a transaction code we have if you have a Fury app directly, you can use that Fury app. So there, in spite of transaction code, you will be able to see the description, create purchase order. That's it. And rest of the screens will be same. Now, use this transaction code ME21N. So ME21N is the transaction code to create a purchase order. So just press enter. And now here you can see this is the screen. So I will discuss in detail about the entire screen today. Okay. Now, when you will try to create a purchase order, you have a shopping cart tab here okay? and here this is your document type so if you click on here you will be able to see the list of document types so what are these document type so these document types are your configuration part of configuration where you are going to define what type of procurement you are doing whether you are creating the document type for import procurement separately or you are creating a standard document a standard document type for few uh, materials which you want to procure for domestic procurement, you want to create different document type. For service procurement, you want to create different document type, right? So in the same way, whatever your requirement you have based on that procurement type, you have to select your document type. So you have to select this document type based on your configuration, okay? So as of now, I'm just selecting NB as the standard purchase order. And here we have the field of supplier. So who is the supplier who is supplying you the material? So first I'm showing you how can we create the PO manually? How can we create the purchase order manually? Okay. So if you're creating manually, you have to enter the document type, then enter the supplier number. So how can you search the supplier number here or the supplier name here? Click on this drop down and then here you will be getting the option of purchase organization. If you are not getting this option of purchase organization, then click on this icon, drop down and select supplier purchasing. Then enter your purchase organization here, press enter. And now, so these are the supplier which are created. Okay, so I will select this supplier and then press enter. And now you can see it is asking to maintain the organization data. What is organization data? And what do we maintain in organization data? These are the organization data which we maintain while creating a purchase order in SAP system. Okay, now. Enter your purchase organization. How will you search or enter your purchase organization? Because purchase organization, purchasing group and company code, which you have created before in your enterprise structure. Okay. So we have uh, gone through the enterprise structure. So either you can enter the purchase organization directly if you know. If you don't know, you can search it. Okay. How will you search? Click on this. And here you can see the list of purchase organization and the descriptions. So everything is mentioned here. So if you have created, it is... It will, it should be visible here or it should be there in this list or you can select any of the purchase organization and try to create the purchase order. But preferably always use your own purchase organization because that purchase organization will be assigned to the company code and the plant level as well. Okay. 
So that's the reason we always suggest to use your own purchase organization which you have created. Or if you know that, okay, there is a purchase organization which is assigned with plant and company code and you know that, then you can and you can mention that, okay. So now I'm selecting my purchase organization, then the purchasing group. I know this is my purchasing group and press enter. Now I can see my company code is coming automatically here because purchase organization is assigned to the company. Okay. Now, and here you can see we have multiple tabs. We have delivery notes, we have condition tab, we have text tab, address tab, communication tab, partner tab, additional tab, status tab payment processing, in code terms, you can see different, different tabs here, right? And there is the usability of all the tabs here. If you click on delivery invoice, here you can see the payment terms, which is maintained at the supplier level. It is picking automatically from there. I'm not maintaining here. Exchange rate based on your settings, it is coming, okay? Now come to the conditions. We'll see this condition in the item details. Text, if any text, you want to write it to the supplier, you can write it here, okay? Then click on address tab and here you can see the address of the supplier which is maintained. Then communication, if any other information it is there. Partner, if any vendor or if any other uh, agent or any partner which are related to this supplier. If you have those details, you can maintain those as well. Then go to additional data. If any collective number you have, you can maintain. And this is your organization data. And this is the status. So once we create the purchase order, we'll see the status will be different here. Okay. So like this, we have different, different tabs. Now, once it is done, and remember, there are three screens we have. One is header, item overview, and item details. So in header, these are the details which we have filled. What are the data we have filled in header? Mostly our organization data. Then item overview. So click on item overview, and then select your material. Now, for which material you want to create the order, so click on here and then enter your purchase, or sorry, your plant. Because materials are created at the plant level. Now, select your material, which material you want to buy and what is the quantity, what is the price, because we are creating manually, right? And then enter your plant. Then press enter. So, this is how you can create your plant. Now, you can see I entered some price here. But this price is picking automatically here. What does that mean? That means the info record is maintained for this particular material for this supplier. So that's the reason price is picking automatically here. I entered some other price, 0, 100. But system picked the info record price. Okay, so that is how the advantage if you are maintaining the info record with the combination of supplier and material. Okay, so this is one way of creating the purchase order. And then now click on save you will be able to see the purchase order number has been generated. So this is one way how can you create a purchase order. Now let me show you the other way how can you create the purchase order with reference to the purchase requisition. Okay. So if you know the purchase requisition, you have to come here. If suppose there are multiple line items are created in the purchase requisition, then come here and then here you enter your purchase requisition number. Okay. And here you have to enter the requisition line item number. Okay, and then based on that, you can create your purchase requisition or you can click on this document overview on and then click on this icon selection variant and here you will have multiple options. So here you have the option of purchase requisition and my purchase requisition. So as a user, when I have logged in, whatever PR I have created, whatever purchase requisition I have created, I can see once I'll click on my purchase requisition. But if I click on purchase requisition, I can see the list of all the purchase requisitions, whatever it is created. Okay. So now I want to check with my purchase requisition. So click on my purchase requisition and I can see these three purchase requisitions are created by me. So now if you want to create, so if you know directly, you can copy this number and you can paste here as I shown you. Direct, directly you can enter the purchase requisition number here or just drag this and just select and drag this and drop it in this basket. So once you will drop it, now you can see, just you enter the, just press tab from here. And then now you can see this is a material. This is the laptop description. Everything is coming. What it is asking for? It is asking for the purchasing organization. So now go to header and you can see supplier is also blank because the user 
had not uh, had uh, not maintained in the uh, sub, uh, like there is a option of fixed vendor in the purchase equation so he has not maintained the supplier because he is not aware of that so he has just created the pr and submitted so now it is supplier's responsibility is to select the supplier from which supplier he can buy this material so again he will search the supplier based on the purchase organization and if he knows the supplier directly he can enter here okay then press enter and then enter the purchase organization then enter the purchasing group and then what it is asking purchase organization not possible for this plant so obviously this is some different plant it is picking enter okay and this 302 is not maintained in this plant okay so maybe the material is created in some different plant with which it is showing maybe somebody else might have used it so because of that it might be coming but this is how you can create it so let me just select another material or uh, because this is the material which we have seen so let's take this material and then select here because now we are creating it manually so some settings are here and there so you in, if you are creating manually you have to enter the price manually here that's it okay now you can say this is just a warning. This is how you can create it manually. And then save it. So this is how you can create the purchase order. So either you can create, if you are creating with reference to any document, any other uh, document like purchase equation, then that data will be automatically here. Only the quantity you, you need to change. Or uh, maybe if price is not maintained, you, have, you need to maintain the price and then supplier that's it and the purchase organization because this price uh, purchase organization we not we are not maintaining in the purchase requisition so that's the reason it is asking us to maintain it okay so that is how you can create the order manually or with reference to purchase requisition so there are multiple scenarios we have to create the purchase order so we will discuss in our next class thank you everyone if you have any issues please let us know we'll come up with a solution Okay. Thank you, everyone.